Whiff and the old tin cans. Whiff works at the rubbish yards on the island of Sodor. He works with a small little scrunchy engine named Scruff. The Scruncher. They take lots of pride in all the work they do. Although the other engines say that working in the waste dump is a very smelly job. Whiff and Scruff don't mind because they make the dirtiest work seem like fun. One day, Whiff and Scruff had finished all their extra jobs. It's time for us to go to bed, Whiff, said Scruff. But what's this? whistled Whiff. What? That little pipe on the ground. That must have belonged to somebody. So, said Scruff, we shall find the owner of it. Whiff cried. Why? So Whiff's driver placed the special little pipe on the Whiff's tanks. Come on, Scruff, said Whiff. We have to find the owner of it. Scruff followed unhappily behind Whiff. Whiff and Scruff puffed to the far car yards. <laughs> come along, Scruff. I don't want to come in, said Scruff. This is silly. Toby was in a siding. Hello, Whiff. Hello, Scruff. What brings you here? Um, have you by any chance lost a special little pipe? Toby puffed. I haven't lost anything, he said. You see, said Scruff, everyone thinks this is silly. Going around looking for the owner of a silly pipe? Come on, Whiff. Where's your backbone? I have backbone, said Whiff, and he followed Scruff. Whiff and Scruff arrived at a signal. Um, Whiff, why is this so important to you? Because I once lost my lamp when I first arrived on Sodor, and I haven't seen it since. I don't want whoever lost this special pipe to feel the same. Scruff was now beginning to feel sorry. Then they met James, but the special pipe fell off. Oh no, said Whiff, where is it? Scruff was feeling happy again. Then they found it. It was on the side of the tracks. Hooray, said Whiff. It was soon placed onto his tanks once more. Excuse me, James, have you by any chance lost a special pipe? No, what nonsense. I don't even have a place to place a silly old pipe. Whiff, you have to go back to the waste dump. Maybe you'll start making sense, said James. Even James laughed. Scruff puffed on. I'm so sorry we wasted your time, James, said Scruff. So am I, puffed James. Puffing up Gordon's Hill, Whiff and Scruff saw Sidney. He was waiting at the top. Sidney, what are you doing? Asked Whiff. Oh, my driver... I forgot where he went. Well, in any case, have you by any chance lost a special pipe of some sort? No. I haven't lost anything, said Sidney. Then Sidney's driver came back. Come along, Sidney. The fat controller is waiting for us at the diesel works. He has an important announcement to make. Good boy. Come along, Scruff. We have to keep looking for the owner of the special pipe, said Whiff. Whiff puffed away. Scruff tried to follow, but then he heard something snap. Oh, no. I'm out of call, Whiff. Come back. Whiff came back. I'll take you to the calling point, but then we have to get going again, said Whiff. We mustn't let the special pipe go unclaimed. Oh, groaned Scruff. Hurry up, Scruff, said Whiff. Hurry up, filling up with coal. We have to continue searching. This isn't all that necessary, said Scruff. So what if you lost your lamp? So what if somebody's lost a special pipe? Just take it to the scrap yards. Whiff was upset. Why don't you care? You wouldn't like it if somebody took something that you had lost and you were looking for it. Now would you, Scruff? Scruff was upset. You know what, Whiff? Do whatever you want. I don't even care anymore. Go to the scrapyard. Go to the waste dump. Do it. 
and Whiff puffed away. Where are you going, said Scruff. To the scrapyard, said Whiff. Whiff puffed overhead. Stop, Whiff, stop, cried Scruff. We have to find the special owner. But Whiff wasn't listening. Whiff puffed past Edward, and Scruff followed. <laughs> wait, Whiff, wait! Whiff finally stopped at a signal, because Ryan was in front of him. Ryan, can you please get going? Scruff and I have to get to the scrapyards. I can't get going. I've lost my special pipe! Whiff plucked up courage. Is this your special pipe that's laying on my tanks? Ryan was excited. Yes, it is. Thank you, Whiff. He whistled. So Whiff's driver placed Ryan's special pipe back onto Ryan's tanks. Ryan and his crew were suddenly so happy. Thank you, they exclaimed happily. Ryan steamed away happily. Whiff felt so happy that he felt his boiler would burst. How did you know it belonged to Ryan? said Scruff. By instinct and believing, said Whiff. Later on, Scruff apologized to Whiff. Whiff, I'm sorry I didn't believe in you. I'm sorry I told you to do otherwise. I'm sorry I tried to stop you from your dreams. It's all right, said Whiff. Even if you didn't, we still would have found the special owner. Through trial and error, of course. Yes, but it was very wrong of me to be so negative. I agree, said Whiff, but at least Ryan is happy. And I guess that's all that really matters, puffed Whiff. One man's trash can be another man's treasure. And Whiff puffed away back to the shed.